two-step equations. Let's say number one. Okay, two x minus three is equal to seven. Now, if you think about it, something take away three equals seven, so it must be ten, right? So two times something is equal to ten, so it must be five. So two times five is ten, so therefore x is five, right? But the way to go about this, I want to show you the process so that all the every questions it just follow the process. Yeah, let's say first of all, something take away three equals seven. So we want to get rid of the three first. So therefore, you do opposite. So first step, I want to get rid of this minus three first. To get rid of this minus three, I do opposite. So in another word, I add three on the left. So therefore, I must add three on the right as well. Okay. So this is disappear with that. So in another word, two x is equal to ten. See. So therefore, I divide by two because it's two times something is ten. So the answer must be five, right? So I get rid of divide by two, divide by two, that cancel out. So therefore, I get x must be equal to Five. Okay, so you get that. Okay, let me move on next one. Okay, let's say number two. Three uh, x at one is equal to sixteen. Yes. Now, first step, I want to get rid the plus one. So what I do, I get rid the plus one by do opposite. So I minus one on the left. So I must minus one on the right as well. Remember, whatever I do on the left, I need to do the same thing on the right. So I minus that. The left one is disappear. So you live with three x. So therefore, sixteen minus one is fifteen. So your answer is fifteen. So three times something is fifteen. So three must um, x must be five. But remember, you get rid the three three times x. So I get rid the the three by divided by do opposite, so that cancel out. So therefore, okay, x must equal to five. So therefore, x is equal to five. Okay, number three. So let's say number three. So twelve. Okay, twelve is equal to five x take away eight. Right, so it's just the same as what we did earlier, except the five x is on the other side, on the right hand side. To get rid, first of all, to get rid the negative a first. That's the first step. So therefore, I do opposite. I add my add eight on the right, then I add eight on the left because I want to get rid of this eight. See, that's gone. So what it means on the left is twelve plus eight is twenty. On the right hand side is left with five. X, see? So then I divide this by 5. I divide this by 5. So that cancel out. So therefore, okay, this must be equal to 4 is equal to X. So right, I rewrite so it looks nicer. So therefore, X is equal to 4. Okay, next one. Number 4. Let's say number 4 is 7X. I write 4 first. So seven, um, seven x. Let's say seven x plus. Let's say two is equal to. Let's say twenty, twenty. Let's say twenty-two. Okay. So step number one, I get rid this positive two first. So plus two. So I minus two on the left. Yeah, minus two. Then I minus two this side. So now this gone. So left with seven x. See, seven x is equal to twenty. Correct. Now I divide by seven. I divide by seven. So which is x equal? I just I just write it down first. Divide by seven. Divide by seven. So seven go to twenty is two times. Two times seven is what is it? Fourteen, right? So two times seven is fourteen. So remember. Uh, six. So you answer six and then seven. Okay. So therefore, x is six over two six over seven. 
All right, number five. Let's say eight. Okay, eight is equal to, um, let's say nine minus, let's say two X. Correct? Now, step number one, what I do, I'm gonna get rid the, the number nine first. Now, remember, nothing in front of the nine, it means positive, okay, plus nine. Just keep that in mind for me. Now, to get rid of this nine, okay, to get rid of this nine, and that means you minus nine this side, you minus nine this side. See, you just follow the process. So then this disappear. Eight, eight minus nine, Okay, it's negative one. Remember, if you don't know your directed number or eight minus nine, you can always use your calculator for help. So that give you minus one on this side. So that give you negative two x or minus two x if you like. Then I want to get rid of this minus two because minus two times x. So I get rid of minus two by divide by negative two, divide by negative two. So therefore, okay, I'm a minus divided by minus give you a plus, so it's a half is equal to x. This cancel out. So therefore, okay, x is equal to 0 0.5 or a half if you like. Is that okay? Okay, let's move on next one. Sorry. Um at number six. Okay, let's do number six now. So um let's say 14. I write number six. Let's say 14, sorry, I just 14, just get this first, um, minus 3x is equal to 72, okay? Now, step number one, remember the 14 is just like plus 14. Then I get rid the 14 first by the opposite. So I'm minus 14 on this side, minus 14 on this side, and then that disappear. So negative 3x, okay, is equal to 58. Just use your calculator, you can't, can't do in your head. So 72 minus 14 is 58. Then I divide by minus 3. Okay, I divide by minus 3. So therefore, okay, x is equal to minus 19 and 1 third. Okay, of course you can use your calculator. Okay. Now, number seven, let's go. Let's say number seven. Let's say three x all over two is equal to five, right? Now, let's say th this is what it is, okay, the question. So what I do, I get rid of the bottom first, three x divided by two. So I get rid of the two first, so I time two on the left, I time two on the right. Remember, okay, whatever you do on the left, you must do the same thing on the right. That cancel out. So this we leave with 3x is equal to 10. Then I divide by 3, I divide by 3. So therefore, x is equal to 3 go to 10 is 3 times. Remember 1, so 1 third. So therefore, x is 3 and a third. Again, 3 divided by 10, use your calculator if you can't be bothered doing your head. But, okay, always good to, to try to do it in your head first. If you, and you confirm with your calculator. Now, let's do, do these same questions, but I'm going to use different method. Okay, so let's say, or you can, I'm just write all on it. Or I can do this method. Let's say, okay, rewrite this again. So 3x, sorry, 3x over 2 is equal to 5. Now, I'm going to do different method, okay? So it's 5, just remember 5, it's just like 5 over 1. Happy with that? 5 is the same, 5 divided by 1 is 5. So I can do this. So what I do, once I got this, I do cross multiply. So that means 1 times 3x is 3x. 5 times 2 is 10, correct? Then I divide this by 3. I divide this by 3, so therefore, okay, x is equal to 3 and a third, okay? So there are two methods to do this kind of question. So just pick one you like, okay? If you prefer the first one, follow the first one, process. Prefer the second one, go for it, all right? 
Now, let me move on next one. Okay, so let's say, let's say P minus 2 all over 7 is equal to negative 3. Okay, so step number 1. Okay, I can, I can time by 7 because I want to get rid of 7. So I can time 7 on the left and I time 7 on the right because I want to get rid of this 7, you see. So therefore, this on the left hand side, you left with P minus 2. Now, minus time a, po um, a, a negative number time a positive, give you a negative. 3 times 7 is 21. Else, use your calculator. So, I want to get rid of the minus 2. I add 2. Then I add 2. You get that? So therefore, therefore, P is equal to, okay, minus 21 plus 2, negative 90. See, that's your answer. Do you understand? Or I can do an, the second method. Remember, cross method. I cross this out first. I delete this. I'm going to do this again with different techniques. So let me cross this out. Okay, this is over 7. Now, remember, 3, negative 3, it's just like 3 over 1. See? Then what I do, I do cross multiply. So 1 times P minus 2, it is P minus 2. 3 times negative, um, negative 3 times 7 is minus 21. Then I add 2, I add 2. So therefore, okay, P is equal to minus 19. Okay, do you understand? Okay, let's do last one. Okay, you're doing really well. Okay, thank you for listening. Okay, let's do number 10. Okay, number 10. Okay, let's say uh, 20. Okay, minus 5k is equal to 10. Okay, now exactly the same process. You notice, right? Every question just follow the process. So, first of all, I want to get rid of this 20. Now remember, nothing in front of 20, that means plus 20. That's what that meant, all right? So to get rid of the 20, I do opposite. So I minus, so, so I minus 20 on the left, I minus 20 on the right. Because whatever I do on the left, I do same thing on the right. So you left with minus 5k equal negative 10. You see? Then what I do next? I divide this by negative 5. I divide by this by negative 5 as well. So therefore, okay, therefore, k is equal to, what is it? A negative divided by neg a negative, give a positive. 5 divided by, I mean 10 divided by 5 is 2. So therefore, k equal 2. Okay, now, I like you to do four questions for me. Okay, I will give you the answer as well. Um, remember, it's about the process, so you can compare your answer, whether you got the same answer with me, okay? So let's say number one, okay, let's say number one, 2W minus 3 is equal to 17, okay? Of course, you can, you can just pause the video, and then you do it first, and then you can check the answer. I'll give you the answer at the end of... Um, writing down four questions so number two okay so it's eight okay is equal to five minus three x and number three okay is negative two x over three is equal to seven okay last one number four okay so let's say seven minus x over 2 is equal to negative 3. Okay, now I'm going to give you the answer. So number 1, the answer is 7. Okay, so this is 7. Okay, number 2, your answer is should be 1. And number 3, your answer should be minus 10 and a half or minus 10.5. Okay, and then last one, your answer should be x is 6.5 okay so please try those all right thank you so much for watching my video